Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and happy Valentine's Day. If you're one of the people who celebrate Valentine's Day, <laughs> if you're not, then happy Monday. Um, in a moment, I am going to be taking callers live and answering questions, help them connect to loved ones on the other side. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Heather. If you're watching me live on YouTube, thank you so much. And if you are watching me live on any of the other venues, any podcast or, well, that would be listening, or any um, of the other stations, WSCS or Rude Rangers TV, Roku, any of the streaming stations. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, Steve, how are you today? Okay, as people pop up on YouTube and say hi, I'm going to say hi back to them. So we are going to go to the first caller. When I call your area code, please take me off of speakerphone or Bluetooth. Put your phone to your face. Um also have a very exact question ready or connection. Uh, I, an exact connection sounds something like, can you connect me with Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle, whatever it is, uh, that's what I would want from you. Okay, we are going to go to callers now. The first caller is 256. Happy Valentine's Day, 256. How can I help you today? Um. Yes. My name is Kimberly from Georgia, hey, Kimberly. and my question is about um, the next job or career. Um, I'm, I'm teaching right now, but I know that this is my last year of teaching because I can't do it anymore. And I just want to know what's up next for me. Okay, so I'd be surprised if you make it through the whole year of teaching, but do it. Try to push through to the end of the year. Um, I'm going to tell you that coming in next, you're going to have a very pleasant surprise. There's someone coming in. Now, when I use this word, please don't misunderstand it. The first word I hear for you is coaching, but I don't feel like you're going to be like, uh, not that there's nothing wrong with being a life coach. I don't think it's that. I think you're going to be coaching in a, in a different way than that. I feel like you will still be, you'll be doing what you want to do, but not in the way that you have been doing it. So I feel like, will she be an employee? Yep. Okay. Will she work for a bigger company? No. Okay. So when I ask if you're going to be an employee, I get a yes, but it's a career. And if you're going to work for a bigger company, I get a no. And then if I ask if you are going to be um, doing something very independent, I get a no. It's going to be a little bit more structured, a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one, but I, the word coaching still comes through. Now, there are a lot of companies that hire people, excuse me, that hire people to train people and coach people to rehab people. And all of these words are significant for your next step. I do feel like when you know what this is and you're going to know in June, I feel like you're going to know in June exactly what this is. It's going to come in and it's going to, it's, it's possible that it comes in through a friend, associate, or a teacher, another, like a, I'm actually hearing the word co-teacher, but I've I've never heard that word before. I don't know if that's something, if I don't even know if that's a real thing. I really don't. Okay. It's, it's a real thing. Okay. Real thank, thing. You. <laughs> thank you. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel you're like welcome. you're going to hear it from something along those lines, but still do look. I do feel like it's an organization that might just be getting off the ground it, it, um, right around that June, July time. I feel like you're going to be one of the founding. They're using the word members, but I'm going to use the word people. You're going to be one of the uh, originals, the get up and goes with this, pro, this, this 
uh, program or whatever's coming in next for this, I do feel like it's going to allow you to do what you want to do the way you want to do it. So in June, I do want to hear back from you to find out what this is. <laughs> and um, I feel like you're going to love it. Whatever it is, I absolutely 100% feel like you are going to love it. And you're going to want um, to jump in fully to it. Okay. Okay. I, I hope that was helpful. I know I didn't tell you exactly what it was, but I think there was enough in there to help you know something's coming in and it will be something that you love. Okay. That's great. Thank you. You're so welcome, Kimberly. Uh, thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to do a clearing now for everyone listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching, and a clearing is basically a he healing. So I'm going to do a, let's see, I said I was going to do love and it is Valentine's Day. So let's do, we are finding our perfect love and I get no, and I do believe our perfect love is ourself. Um, I'm also going to do, we are loving ourselves unconditionally. I get a no. So we're going to, oh, clear and heal both of those for everybody listening and re-listening, watching, re-watching. Okay. I'm going to go directly to 512. 512, how are you today? Hi, Tony. I'm doing well. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Where are you calling uh, from? My name is Yvonne. I'm calling from Texas. Hey, Yvonne. So what's your question or connection for the day? Well, I do have a job um, question. I've been looking for one. I got laid off like two weeks ago. But I also want to see if I have a friend that um, is trying to come through. She just passed two weeks ago also. So which one do you want to know about the job or the friend? Um, I better go with, I better go with the job. Okay. So I feel like within a month, within a month, you're going to know about the job, the new job. I do feel like it's, it might be time for you. I, ca I can't tell you what to do. I'm not the boss about you, of you. Um, mm -hmm. I do feel like <clears throat> you are going to find something in a similar or the same industry. And I feel like it's going to be within a month. I feel like you are going to have much better luck at the new place than you did at the, the last place. And I do feel like at the new place, there will be some room for advancement or some like a come up. Um, I don't know what come up means, like advancement, promotions, moving up more, having the ability to uh, go further in the new company than you did in the last company. I'm really um, going to tell you to start looking. I feel like you're going to find this right away. And within a month, you're going to know for sure. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, I've been applying. So I'm just waiting for feedback. Yeah, I feel like something's coming in. Back from them. It's coming in very quickly. Um, I do feel like you're going to be very happy with what you do find, okay? Okay, thank you, Tony. You are so welcome. Have an, yeah, amazing, have an amazing rest of the day. And for everybody looking for work, everybody trying to find that perfect fit of an occupation or career, uh, let's do a clearing that that comes in quickly and it's the right match because the place that offers you what might look good on paper might not be the perfect place for you. It might not give you that advancement. It might not give you what you're looking for. So let's do that clearing. Who? Holy moly. And I want to say hello to um, Amy and... I, uh, eyes 
Uh, let me look at a little closer at that. Um, you are, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know how to say that. Um, Genevieve's friend. Hello, Genevieve from Montreal's friend. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller, 860. 860, how are you today? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. Hey, Amla. How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. So how can I help you today, love? Yes. Speaking of which, I feel closer to meeting my committed partnership. Do you see when and if he might be coming? I can say if, when he's coming, because I'm ready. Okay. I do feel like... <laughs> I, it's so ridiculous because I'm hearing a date and I am afraid to say it because I don't know if it's, they're saying 14th, 15th, February 14th, 15th, which could be today or tomorrow. Now make sure you're out now just on one other note. <laughs> they could be talking about next year, but I don't think they're, oh. they are. <laughs> I think they're talking about Today, tomorrow, you have the potential to meet someone. Now, I'm really nervous saying that because it's like now, but maybe that's why you got through today. Oh, no, exactly. <laughs> so funny. maybe you're supposed to get out there today and go to lunch with a friend or just go to lunch by yourself. I did it. By, I don't know, but I feel like you're supposed to be out and about today. You are going to meet this person. Um, you are going to meet this person in a, obviously in a public setting based on everything they're saying right now. And you're going to meet this person either today, you have the potential to meet this person today or tomorrow. Right. Now I'm going to say, um, you know how, when we, we really want to meet somebody, we're out there and we're looking at everybody just like, oh, who's looking back? Relax. If it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. I feel like somebody's going to come in and you're going to be um, funny statement, but I, I don't, I, you're going to kind of be blindsided by this person. You're going to be, um, and I, I don't know what that means, but you'll have to tell me after it happens what it means. Okay, Amla? Yes. Excellent. Yes, that sounds great. Excellent. I appreciate your call, your your answer, and um, I'm going to still listen to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you do continue to listen, and absolutely my pleasure. And again, let's do another clearing for Amla, for everybody else watching, re-watching, listening. Um, let's do a, a healing on being open to love and the right person. And I get that some of us are not. So let's clear that to a yes, because that's really, really important. It really is. Um, let's go to 415. Boy, the first 415 is 415416. Hello, 415. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. This is Kate. Hey, Kate, that, it's so funny because I don't, so folks watching or listening, I don't, um, I don't, n there's no names with the numbers. There's just numbers. So there's two 415s in a row. So the next 415, hold on, I'll be with you in a moment. But so when I'm clicking on them, I have no idea who I'm getting on the other end. And no, I don't memorize numbers. I can barely memorize my own number. Okay, Kate, how can I help you today? <laughs> I would love to hear from uh, a friend who passed when we were young, uh, Paul, his name is Paul. Oh my gosh. I have a Paul that passed when I was young too. Okay, uh, Paul, where, yeah. not my Paul, Kate's Paul. <laughs> my Paul comes around every every <laughs> now and again to say hi. Okay, uh, Kate's Paul, where are you? Here, over my right shoulder. Okay, is there something specific you would like to oh. ask or talk about with Paul? Well, the first thing he's saying is a song um. and the song is Let the Good Times Roll. 
Let the good times roll. Oh. So that's the first thing that he is um, saying. And then I don't, um, give me something other than that statement to start with. Um, he is very, um, I'm hearing all these words like proactive and he was a very strong-willed person, I feel like, in some ways, on some sides. He was very, very strong-willed, very, um, very, uh, just had this force about him with certain things. But now back to you. He wants to say, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? Ha, ha, ha. I already know. So, <laughs> so he's letting you know he's been, he's been watching out for you. He's been hanging around you. He's been um, enjoying the time that the two of you, uh, ha that he is watching over you. Um, he's singing this other song now i was gonna say this another song that's not even a word this other song um it, it's it i don't even know the words but the way he's saying it is jump on it jump on it jump on and on and on it <laughs> and then he's stopping there and his reason for singing that song is you need to be a little bit more diligent in making your moves forward and doing, getting everything together and being where you need to be and doing what you need to do. Don't have downtime right now. Yeah. Don't have downtime. Okay. And um, if you, even, even when you're going to the bathroom, have a notebook with you and be writing everything yeah. out for it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Paul would like to say. He's bringing ideas and connections through to you. So please make sure that you are uh, paying attention and always have something that you can either talk into, like record or write down. Okay, sweetie? Yeah, that's wonderful. I, he's always been a cheerleader for me and and a Cupid. He always says he's gonna he's looking for the right speaking matches. He always gives me a message. He's finding the match for me. I love that. Right now he wants you to focus more on work than love though. That's his big thing right yeah. now is get on <laughs> it, get get to work, get everything in order in that area. And then everything else will fall into place. Okay, sweetie? Got it. All right. Thank you for the message. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. We're going to go to the next person who is also 415. But before I take 415, I want to say hi to Caroline. I want to say hi to uh, Mariela. I think that Mariel, Marcel, I think that's how I say your name. I'm really sorry. Um, but hello back from Norway to Norway. Caroline, oh, hello. And I think, and uh, yes. Um, so we're going to go to the next caller who is also 415. 415, how are you doing today? Hi, uh, thank you. This is Jessica. Jessica. Um, so my question is that I feel my life partner coming in. I feel him very strongly. And um, a couple of days ago, one of my soulmates, a male also, came in. And I there's an attraction there because obviously he's a past a soulmate. Um, but I'm wondering, so I know just to kind of like sort of ignore him in a way because he's just like in a way a little bit of a distraction so is there a way that do you think that we'll just be friendly or is it that I should just ignore him and just get that relationship out of my life okay so I have um I don't want to go I, I'm sorry can you repeat that last part I don't want to go into playing games with this guy or like getting angry at him or, you know, like I, I wanted to just keep it positive. So I'm wondering okay. if I should just like kick him out of my life or if there's a way just to kind of 
be ca very casual friends. No. Okay. So when you said, should I kick him out of my life? Somebody just said, yes. <laughs> what else do we have to do to show you? He, he is a distraction. Um, you know, a lot of times we think I'm just going to keep this person or beings. Um, we tend to spread our energy a little thin sometime. And if we're focusing on one person, we're not focusing on what we really want. Now, if you and this guy could be clear cut friends, that would be one thing. But I feel like he is having other intentions, even if it's not for a full on relationship, he has other intentions. So it's time to cut it and move on. Even, okay, I want to say this to all everybody, male, female, whatever. If, if you are um, even just having friends with benefits while you're waiting for somebody else, you are getting in the way of your true person. So you have to cut off um, and I know a lot of people would not agree with this and that's okay. I'm not the boss of anyone. I'm not telling anybody how to live their life. But if, if, if you really want that person cut all other cords, because when you're hanging out with someone and you have feelings for them, your energy is an energy of being taken to a certain extent. And when you have that energy of being taken, even if it's a little bit more than a friend or somebody else is claiming dominion over you. I don't know why it came out like that, but I do because I'm channeling. Their energy is in yours and somebody who's a really good, respectful person isn't going to come in and interfere with that. And we want good, respectful people in our life. So we have to cut out anything that crosses that line, cut that energy out. If we can't keep it, not crossing the line. We have to cut that out so that we we have that good single energy. I don't know if I'm making sense. God, I hope I am. And then the right person. Yeah, can I agree. In. Yes, I agree with everything you're saying. And I was going to cut him out. It was just been like 24 hours. Yeah. But then he was like, oh, I wanted to give you one of the products that I have. And I was like, okay, I'll give you some of the products that I have. So am I just supposed to like text him back and say, Hey, let's do this exchange today. And then we can't talk anymore. Like, am I supposed to, cause I feel bad. Like, am I supposed to ignore him in the future with his texts? I'm like, I know that we don't need to talk about this. I don't owe him anything from like just a day, but I'm not sure how to navigate this. Okay, so if you if you really feel like the products are something you're going to use and he's going to use and this is a legit product exchange, exchange the product, say, hey, it was really nice seeing you and then do the cutoff. And you don't have to be rude about the cutoff. You know, there's a lot, a lot of ways to do a, a nice, like just, hey, he's super busy. Sorry, can't talk right now. But don't let somebody get into your energy and make sure that the motives are pure. If he's just giving you products because he plans on you being your client or something more, then don't even go there because you know, you're not going to do that. Um, and that's what I would basically say. You have to use your own judgment about that end of it, getting the products or not. But if you plan on cutting this person off, then, you know, it is what it is. You have to kind of not maybe exchange products and just move on with your life. And that's, that's the best I can, the best way for me to say that, if that makes sense to you. Yeah. I mean, just ignore the text when he texts me again. Like that's, what's weird to me. Just like, say you're new. super, you know what? Can we he, just ignore? I, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. I don't think it's about necessarily ignoring the text you can say hey i'm super busy sorry i can't get back to you right now this time isn't working out if you know listen there's a thing called integrity and if we know somebody wants more than we want 
It's up to us to have the integrity and the character to not lead them on, to not do that game playing, to not, just to not um, be in that space where, whether it's for product, relationship, anything, we're, we're moving forward in another direction. And we don't, we have the integrity and character not to uh, in any way string somebody along. Okay, so that is the best way I can put that. I hope it makes sense. Now, I know, listen, I know everybody is not going to agree with me on that. And that's okay. If you feel differently about it, that's perfectly fine. Um, but just from my experience working with thousands of people, um, and seeing thousands of situations, if you have integrity, you're going to bring somebody in with integrity. If you have character, you're going to bring somebody in with character. Um, if you're stringing people along or using them to fill your time, don't have seat fillers. You know what? Because then just don't have seat fillers. Somebody to fill that seat until the person comes along. Again, have integrity, have character. Um, and the other thing I know that I've experienced, not only that it's been done to me, but, you know, it goes in every direction. If you are have this person or people that you're just messing with until the right person comes along, there will never be the right person because you're constantly comparing them to all the other people. Just go clean, cut everything clean, and just decide that you are going to wait for that one person. Now, a lot of people, their ego gets in the way of that, and they can't do that. They feel like they need one person or more than one person. I don't want to hear how that's spiritual. I don't. I don't want to hear... Some people think it's a very spiritual thing to be able to do that. I don't agree. It's a very physical thing to do that. Okay. Um, and if you're on the other end of that, where you are a seat filler for somebody, then you absolutely know that it is not, it is not spiritual. Um, either way, Everybody has the right to do what they want and live the way they want. Just make sure you're being honest and upfront with people about that. Make sure you are have at least as much integrity as you can if you're having seat fillers or people you're just using until the right one comes along because that, that's really what it is. You're just using people until the right one comes along and don't do that. Don't, don't ever use people for anything because it does come back on you. It does. You get to live everything you put out at some point in your life. And that is not a comfortable moment. And no matter how you try to get out of it, you might not be able to. So having said that, I want to thank everybody who joined me today. Um, thank you so much for being here. Happy Valentine's Day again. I will be back on Wednesday for at noon central to answer your questions, help you connect with loved ones. Champagne, thank you so much for joining us today on YouTube. Thank you everybody for being here. Until Wednesday, have an absolutely amazing day.